Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bufet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued five edicts for the year 2019. Edict number 12 stipulates the appointment of Iyad Abdul Latif Abdullah as Director of the Financial Resources Directorate at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. The Minister of Finance and National Economy shall delegate the director mentioned in the edict to any government authority. Edict number 13 appoints Noura Ali Mohammed Sindi as Director of the Follow Up Directorate and Noura Ali Sultan Al Khalif Al Khalif as Director of the Information and Economic Indicators Directorate at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. Edict number 14 issued and approved the transfer and appointment of Directors of the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. The Director of the Consumer Protection Directorate, Sinan Ali Ahmed Al Jabri, will be the Director of Public Relations and Information Department at the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. Fadila Ibrahim Mohammed Al Akram is appointed Director of the Consumer Protection Department at the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Tourism. Edict number 15 stipulates the appointment of Janan Abbas and Musa Hussain as Director of the Human and Financial Resources Directorate at the Ministry of Information Affairs. Edict number 16 stipulates the appointment of Farah Mohammed Khalid Matar as Director of the Culture and Arts Directorate of the Bahrain Culture and Antiquities Authority. The Deputy Prime Minister Zainas Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak returned to the Kingdom yesterday after participating in the 30th regular session of the Arab League Summit. Tunisian President Beji Qad Sabzi received yesterday His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of health and happiness to the President as well as their wishes of success to the summit. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation to the Tunisian President and the government and people of Tunisia for the warm hospitality and for the successful organization of the summit. The meeting reviewed the course of broadly relations between the two countries, stressing the need to strengthen them in various fields of cooperation between the two broadly countries. They also stressed the importance of working to implement the resolutions adopted by the summit and the Tunisian declaration to strengthen and consolidate the joint Arab action and the restoration of solidarity in the interest of Arab issues and safeguard the security and stability of the Arab nation. The meeting was attended by Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the advisor to the Office of His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister Yusuf Mohammed Mahmoud and Ambassador of Bahrain to Tunisia, Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by its Speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal. The Council approved Decree by Law No. 58 of 2018, amending a number of provisions of Law No. 2 of 2018 on the regulations of small vessel registration and safety. The Council also approved the request of Representative and President of the Service Committee, Mamdouh Al Saleh, on returning the drafts of the law that amends Article 46 of the Labor Law and the Civil Sector to the committee for further study. The council also approved a draft law amending Article 3 of Law No. 74 of 2006 on supporting, qualifying and employing people with disabilities. The council also discussed the government's policy on the flexible work system and its outcomes on Bahrain labor markets. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs has extended its congratulations and congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to the government and people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation on the occasion of the blessed Isra and Maraj anniversary. In its regular session held under the chairmanship of the Council's President, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, he called on the Council to seize Islamic events by spreading the spirit of brotherhood and harmony among Muslims. The Council praised the launch of the national plan to promote national belonging and the consolidation of the values of citizenship in the Kingdom and considered it an important and pioneering step to consolidate the foundations of coexistence within the framework of good citizenship. It noted that coexistence is a well-established concept for the people of Bahrain. He 
pointed out that this national plan is part of the leading national project of His Majesty. He also pointed to the need to instill values and ethics in children and young people, especially in educational environments. In this regard, the Council hailed the vital role of the places of worship in Bahrain. The Council discussed the topics on its agenda. The Sultan and ruler of Johor, Malaysia, Sultan Ibrahim ibn al marhum Sultan Iskandar al Haj, left Bahrain today. The Sultan attended Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix in its 15th edition at the invitation of His Majesty the King. Based on the outstanding results of the integration of autistic students in public elementary schools, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, directed to implement this procedure in intermediate schools from the next academic year of 2019 and 2020 for the first term for the first time in Bahrain's educational history. The minister visited today Ammar bin Yasser Boys Elementary School on the occasion of World Autism Awareness Day, where he reviewed the educational program programs offered to autistic students. He affirmed that this development plan comes within the ministry's keenness to provide education for all in implementation of the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The minister noted that autistic students will have the opportunity to complete their regular study in intermediate education and access to advanced educational services in integration schools. He also noted that intermediate schools will be prepared to apply this procedure and Naimi highlighted the remarkable success achieved in the past years. In conjunction with the Bahrain Grand Prix for Formula One, the Embassy of Bahrain to the U.S. held a sports event in Washington, D.C. with the American Bahraini Friendship Association, the ABFS. The event was a live broadcast of the Formula One race final round. Ambassador Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa coordinated with the ABFS to organize this event as an opportunity for the members of the association to follow up with and watch the race. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid honored the winners of the competition to predict the winning team. He noted that the success achieved in this year's race is not unusual for Bahrain. Sheikh Abdullah stated that the event was an opportunity to promote the kingdom and to highlight its honorable status at the embassy of Bahrain in Washington. He congratulated the kingdom on the achievement, wishing Bahrain further success. His Majesty the King of Malaysia, Sultan Abdullah, son of Sultan Ahmed Shah, received today in the Malaysian capital, Kuala Lumpur, the President of the Asian Football Confederation and First Deputy President of the International Football Association, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Sheikh Salman congratulated the Malaysian monarch on the occasion of assuming his constitutional authority as King of Malaysia. He expressed a pride for the effort Sultan Abdullah had exerted in serving Asian football over the past years. Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim called with pride the successes of the Malaysian monarch and his outstanding legacy of promoting noble sports values, wishing him success. The Palestinian Embassy in the Kingdom of Bahrain held a celebration yesterday marking the 43rd anniversary of Earth Day, which was attended by representatives from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Shura and Representatives Councils, ambassadors and members of the Palestinian community. The Assistant Undersecretary for GCC and Arab Countries Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf Mohammed Abdullah Jamil, affirmed his country's firm stance towards the first central issue of the Arab nation. He stressed that the key to a comprehensive, just and and lasting peace in the Middle East was the withdrawal of Israel from all Arab territories occupied in 1967, the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as its capital, and the return of all Palestinian refugees to their lands. The ambassador of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Sheikh, noted that Earth Day has become a historic event for all Arabs and reflects the struggle of the Palestinian people in adhering to their identity and aspirations for freedom and independence. He stressed that the Palestinian cause is one of the first concerns of Saudi Arabia since the time of the founder, King Abdul Aziz, until the era of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz al-Saud. <laughs> 